All right, I'm going to be moving fast today and staying light on my feet, which means you're going to get another one taker video. And I'm still talking about the Orville Dam, and I'll probably be talking about it. I have another video coming out after this. Uh, this story just came out, so I'm updating you. The other one will be edited. This one is not. Because um, the story came out seven hours ago, so that's about 9 p.m. on Thursday night in California. And his official, officials plan to release water on damaged Orville's dam spillway ahead of more wet weather. Let me read that again. Officials plan to release water on damaged Orville's dam spillway ahead of more wet weather. Yeah, that's correct. We got more storms coming. So let's take a look at that. Holy crap. Does that give you confidence? You know, and um, so, yeah, they're going to be releasing more water down the spillway here. And the thing is that, um, so the water comes in here. I remember it like started, the damage started down here. You know what I'm saying? And so now it's broken up to here. And so it'll be interesting to see how much water they let out and how much damage it does. Because I would imagine once it gets to be about here, people would probably start worrying. And it's interesting they didn't lay any concrete over here. Because you'd think that's where the tear away is going to be. Because it kind of tears into the walls here, it seems. You know, kind of like down here, right? Live ones. I make mistakes and then you see them. Oh no. Anyway, so there we go. There's, that's what I'm talking about. And here's, look how high the water is up here. I shouldn't be laughing. But look, that is right at, I don't know, what do they say it's at? Uh, at the moment, they're telling us that it is 84%. So, I don't know. That looks more than 84%, man. But maybe it's just perspective. Orville's Dam crippled spillway in a February thought photo. Oh, that's from February. I shouldn't be laughing. With storm weather approaching, California plans to resume releasing water down the damaged spillway at the nation's tallest dam. Is by Melissa Etichad. Etihad? She's a contact reporter. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, eight, this came out at 8.30 p.m. California time. As Northern California braces for more wet weather, state officials plan to resume releasing water down a damaged spillway at Oroville Dam. The California Department of Water Resources said Thursday that dam operators will reopen the damaged spillway for up to 14 days beginning Friday as state officials finish repair plans. But, as Northern California continues to be hit by more storms, and in anticipation of runoff from snowmelt, DWR Director Bill Croyle said that the repairs probably won't start until May or early June. And the main reason I did this, especially in a one-taker, is because of all the articles I've read lately, this is like the first one that mentioned snowmelt, right? And that's the thing, is they did a thing a study like how much snow is in the Sierras because it's been like 196 166 percent of normal snowfall and so when that melts it usually happens in the summer or before the summer you know California gets a lot of its water well America's at 200 percent of precipitation levels and California is really high precipitation levels as we know and so the snow met Melt is going to add to the problems because they say they have 46 inches of rainwater and they're like 100 inches of snow that's still there. And so when that comes out into the creeks and the dams, it's going to cause problems, big problems. And so that's why I keep doing so many videos about this because the whole situation, this situation really seems doomy. Like if we go back to looking at that dam, where's the damn dam, man? That like th th that does not look good. And the more they let out of the spillway, the more it's, it's going to crack and break. And they've come out with reports saying that 
And if they don't have this shit fixed by November 11th, it could be disastrous because that's when the wet season starts. And it's like, if that's wet season, what is this season? You know what I'm saying? So that is why I keep talking about it. Like, and when I was in California, it really didn't seem like that many people were that aware, you know, of how bad it is. So I just did a video talking about Shasta and we're keeping our eyes on all things. And just so we need to get ahead of the situation. And it would be great if we were allowed to know how bad it really is. And probably guesstimations of when that thing is going to break down. I hope I'm wrong. I hope like a year from now. It's all repaired, and everybody's like, see, you fear monger, you were just fear mongering. But like I said, <laughs> look at the dam, man. It's like when I started, it was way down there. And I've been saying, watch this thing, it's like a wick. It's and so yeah, like people are like, oh, there's no problem. The dam's fine. Really? Does that dam look fine to you? Does that dam look you know, it's like how oh, crazy people are crazy. I guess that that's what I know, you know. I don't know. Okay, so the wet weather is forecast to hit Oroville area starting Sunday morning, and until late last, until late next week. All right, let me reread that again. That sounds very important. The wet weather is forecast to hit the Oroville area starting Sunday morning, and last until late late next week, according to the National Weather Service. A special weather statement by the Weather Service said that the agency was tracking. A strong thunderstorm over Oroville with the possibility of hail and winds up to 30 miles per hour. In anticipation of the storm and potentially others, let's go back to the other sense, starting Sunday morning and last until late next week, according to the National Weather Service. Because, um, like the woman I love is in California right now, and, um, as a baby. You gotta get out of there by 16th. Just cause I don't want to take any chances. And, um, you know, she did, I didn't, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't you know, I get, she didn't, it, I don't know, I guess she didn't, my, my precipitation totals, or whatever, she didn't. So, you know, what I'm trying to say is, let me show you, let me show you what I'm looking at. And, See, this is a high pressure. Holy crap, you got two little. That looks weird, people. Okay. The ocean's been weird. Look at all that, man. Look at all these. Yeah, I gotta mean sea level pressure because I'm sure that's gonna look super trippy. Super trippy. And humor is how I deal with crazy situations. Oh my god, look at that thing. It is not good. Oh my god, that is huge. Because usually under the purple spots, you get a lot of rain and crappy weather. Okay, so, so you got like a mini little tropical storm here. It's not a tropical storm, but one there, one there, one there, one there. Oh my god. Yeah, so, oh wow. wow it looks like Mickey Mouse. Anyway, so that's low pressure zones. And, and the white over here is the high pressure zone. And so it's like either space pirates or God or chance or fate or chemtrails have been keeping a high pressure zone over California, so it hasn't been getting much rain. It's like they've been zapping it with a microwave, so even when storms kind of do head there, it's almost like they dissipate and dissolve. So, Sunday's storm may not be that bad. And all these storms that continue to come, they may not be that bad for California, but still, I don't know, man. That's not, you wouldn't put your faith in the space pirates. I mean, unless you know them, and then by all means. So, I was trying to show you where I got off, off balance. Um, yeah, so here we go. This is total cloud water, people. So the white stuff you see is total cloud water, the water that is in the clouds. We've got a total precipital water. That's all the water that's willing to participate in the storm, I believe. And so that's a lot. So you got this one right here, and I think that's a Sunday storm. A lot of models showed it going straight up into Alaska. We are now going to check it out. Let's go back to total cloud water. Okay. So we're moving forward. Wait, moving over here so you can see the, the date. All right, this is the 14th, which is today. 6, 11 a.m., my time, Texas time. We're going to go for today. Boom. All right, this is the 15th. Now we'll go forward by three-hour increments. 
So the top one is getting pulled into like Alaska. And then, yeah, that looks like there's definitely going to be some moisture. So this is the 16th at 10 a.m. I think at local Texas time. And so, look at that, people. And so that, that, that looks like a mini atmospheric river to me. What does it look like to you? And then you got this over here. Which, so we're going to see high winds. And high winds have been a problem, not just in California or Oregon or Washington, but they've been getting like 70 to 80 mile per hour bursts in like Oklahoma, on the East Coast, the West Coast. Because there's some crazy crap going down in the atmosphere. I mean, I'm in Houston, which is, I don't know, like 60 miles off the coast, and I don't feel safe here. Thank God my parents have a place in the DFW area, so if I feel it gets too weird, I can head north. Um, but yeah, so this is the 16th, and that's what we're dealing with. And so stuff like this is going to continue to happen. I know... Uh, this thing, this map I keep showing here. Where is it? Do, 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 do. I think it's in 411. Maybe. All right. Yeah, right here. Oh, crap. This, this is like storms lining up in the Pacific. So this, so this one. Storm one today. Tuesday, Wednesday, two. Okay. So I think Wednesday, Thursday. All right. So yeah. I mean, it's just storm after storm after storm coming. <sighs> there you go. That's what we're dealing with, people. Um. Just watch. Just watch. Let's watch. So look at all that, and look at that one over he over here. I don't. I shouldn't be laughing. And so yeah, that's. Wow, well, I talk a lot. Okay, well, holy, oh my God, holy, look at that right there. I, let's get a tongue person for the water. Look at that. Holy crap. Never seen it like that. Like usually the equator, there's all that moisture because it's the equator. I've never seen the equatorial water get that high. Oh my God. So, that makes you feel confident. And I would just, Jesus Christ. That's, oh my God. Yeah, see that? These bring the weather and the water. Anyway. <laughs> I just said anyway to you like you're my girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> Uh, or lady friend, or whatever, whatever labels. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Fudge. So, yeah, that looks bad. And so, I'll get back to the article in a second, but look at that thing. That thing is massive. So, you just got, so, you know, we're looking at the 18th here. And see, so look, that one's headed straight for it. So, it seems like it's only a matter of time. And if you want to be doubting me, then explain to me how the situation is going to get better. Do I need to flip it back to that damn dam? Look at that thing. And so, what is it? It's 18th. There's one, two, and then three. So, man, my heart goes out to you. Alaska, Canada, Washington, Oregon, California. Yeah, it makes me sad. Okay. So the wet weather is forecast to hit the Orville area starting Sunday morning and last until late next week. But it's not even going to be over late next week. Late next week is yeah, around the 20th. So that's the 18th, right, that we were looking at. And so that means around the 18th, you've got like three more chain storms coming, each one seeming to be bigger than the next. And so it's going to be crazy. These are crazy times, people. But you already know that. It's like running... It's like, oh, hey, you ain't really got to worry about the dam because World War Three may break out any second. So you can feel like a dumbass because you're like, oh, my God, I was worried about the Orville Dam. And then I died in a bright flash when Kim il John fired one missile and then we fired a thousand and then Russia fired a thousand and everybody died. All right. Welcome to Thor News. If this is your first time, 
Hope you're enjoying it. I use humor and crazy thoughts to deal with this really crazy foobar world we live in. A special weather statement by the Weather Service said that the agency was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Oroville with the possibility of hail and winds up to 30 miles per hour. In anticipation of the storm and potentially others, the DWR is trying to lower the lake level as much as possible behind the dam before closing the spillway for good to start repairs. How are they going to close the spillway for good? You know, man, like when do they expect the rain to just stop? Multiple agencies are involved in reconstruction plans, which also need to be approved by federal regulators. As experts continue to analyze the damaged site, the new information changes construction plans. Each week, we addressed the next set of technical issues to review. Yeah, because the situation keeps getting worse, so then they have to revamp their plans. In February, the state narrowly avoided what would have been a catastrophic disaster when engineers discovered a huge crater on the reservoir's main spillway, leading authorities to switch to an emergency spillway to reduce the water level. Then, that spillway nearly failed, prompting concerns that a concrete wall would collapse, sending a wall of water out of the lake. More than 100,000 people were evacuated from the potential flood path. Engineers were eventually able to reduce lake levels by increasing the amount of water flowing down the already damaged main spillway. So yeah, it's gone from bad to worse to worser. And uh, if you watch the next Oroville video I do, where I cover like four different stories from like two days ago, I show they've done like 3D model projections on what happens if it breaks. And that's pretty fascinating to watch. Um, so here is this video here. And I don't know, I'll probably do another video on just the precipitation or going different models because... I like to roll through four different models to get an idea of what we're dealing with. Because not only have I been trying to instruct the love of my life properly, but, you know, that also keeps me humble where I only want to give her good, solid information and I only want to give you guys good, solid information. You know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, trust me, I like to make fun, funny videos about outer space and whatever. So, me doing these videos is not my favorite thing to do. And it's just weird. Okay, so you're going to hear me we'll watch this. But this is like the precipitation totals. So I may just do a one on precipitation. Proje Holy shit! Oh my god, look at that. I mean, it's not that bad. Maybe it won't be that bad. Like I said, they were microwaving them, but look at that. That's a lot of water. The green is the water. Look at that right there. See, it's like 80% of California's getting pounded in that storm. And there it looks like 90% of the West Coast is getting rained on. That is on the 18th. So the storm they were talking about was on the 20th, which here comes, 19th. And there's the 20th storm. And then you got another one. Holy shit, look at the one on the East Coast, man. <sighs> so that's the 25th. And then, oh, oh, geez. So, yeah, and then, although that one doesn't really go into California, but this model is 13 days out, so they usually change a lot in that time. But, yeah, that definitely looks like another big storm. With, oh, geez, with a lot of water. But look at the East Coast one, man. Oh, wow. Like I said, the weather's freaking out. It's like the sun is having a baby or something. So there you go. So, you know, make of it what you will. And stay cool, spread the word. And hopefully nothing bad comes of it. But if it does, just be ready to be prepared. All right. Great. This is what everybody wanted. Me talking for 20 minutes on a damn damn. God bless everyone. Stay cool.